You know, I figured why not. Let's do the third game of the Freddy Fish series. The Case of the Stolen Conch Shell. And we'll just put this to monthly and proceed. How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. All right, so there's the opening. Smooth landing, Luther. Thanks for the lift, Sam. Have a good time. All right, so. Interesting stuff here. Hey, Pelican Sam. Did you hear about the little shrimp that got a job weighing groceries? Weighing groceries? Say, that's a pretty big job for a little shrimp. Yeah, but he's only doing it on a small scale. <laughs> I don't know why, but every so often this game likes to kick itself to the desktop, but whatever. Alright, so another again is basically a quit option for this like game. And you can save. And load with, like the S and L keys. I wonder when they basically started to have like, you know, save and load being like a menu screen for like, you know, Freddy Fish, but whatever. Yeah, sea urchins again. Hey Luther, what word do the letters U R C H I N spell? A pop quiz? Can't think. Brain failing. Ah! You're so silly. They spell urchin, as in we found a purple sea urchin. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull? Off? Oh, Luther! Uh, that seems a little bit odd. So I know the idea here is I guess there was basically air in his bottle. Actually, I want to slow the game. Note that there's basically like, you know, air in this bottle here. And I guess that's basically like, you know, making the blood ball rise. Hey, Luther! Let's get that. That old fishing net is blocking our path. I wonder how we can get past it. So yeah, basically it'll stop you from like getting through here, by the way. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. So yeah, basically Great I just job. I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull off? Oh, Luther. So I that just basically had like air in his bottle and basically dropped like a stone as, as if it like filled up with water. 
I'm not sure I'd hop with a ball like that, but whatever. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. I don't know why I would, but okay. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. <laughs> but if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Alright, so, I guess at this point, we can actually like, throw out, like, what the theme basically for, like, you know, Freddy Fish is basically all about. So, I note that basically this is sort of like a detective, like, sort of series, I guess, as opposed to, like, you know, Puppet, which is basically Adventure, or Pajama Sam, which is basically, like, you know, uh, another, like, type of adventure game. And, the, the idea of, like, Freddy Fish here is that basically have, like, these cases you're basically trying to solve, right? So... The first one is basically, like, you know, solve, like, where the, like, where the chest went. The second one is basically, like, solve what, uh, you know, the ghost basically was. And the third one is basically, like, you know, solve who basically, like, you know, framed her, like, uh, um, Luther's uncle here. Interesting how this picture changes to, like, you know, the bad guys from the first two games. Oh god, we got ourselves a game over here. A game over here, Ryder. This reminds me of like the puppet goes to the moon, like you know, basically like you make the characters and stuff like that. Let's get on it, I guess. Oop, that took me back out. Actually, hit the cave right and, like, you know, the moss around it. Oh, I did it again. Let's just skip this a little bit. Uncle Blenny is depending on us to find all the golden pipes, so old Soggy can help us catch the thief. Alright, so basically there's like, you know, suspects of course. Excuse me sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre mends things, they are better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Oh, if only I, Pierre, had the perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. What's wrong with the egg that's on it? The egg? It is too roly-poly. But I suppose it will have to do. Unless, of course, I could get the perfect accessory. A blue tail Joey bird feather. That would look beautiful, Pierre. So, looks like we got ourselves a, you know, like, you know, fetch quest for this guy here. That's basically one of the suspects, by the way.
There's a sea urchin. I spy with my little eye something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh. Hmm. It's a purple sea urchin. Good work, Luther. I have to say, so far I'm not finding a whole lot here. Freddy, this log looks kind of like a tunnel. And it seems to be stuck in the mud. I guess I need something for that. Ready? There's something behind that waterfall. Wait! Luther! <laughs> Whew! That knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. I bet that's probably where this place comes in, right? Diving into that waterfall may be dangerous, but danger is my middle name. Luther, that's not your middle name. And besides, there must be a way to safely get through the falling water. I probably need like a piece of wood or something to knock out that like, you know, trunk there. Food is warm doodles! Mm, mm, mm. Well, I can see we won't be getting together for dinner anytime soon. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. Is there anything I can get for you two? Not right now. Thanks. <laughs> I get the feeling, by the way, there's basically also a pathway she's probably going to be involved in. Would you like to try a banana? No thanks. I already had a big bowl of krill toasties for breakfast. Uh... Let's go this way. You don't go down this way yet. To prove Uncle Blenny is innocent, we... That's one of the suspects again. Hi, my name is Luther, and this is my best friend, Freddy Fish. I am horse feathers, I am. My purple tie, two tighties. Hmm, that phrase book isn't 100% accurate, is it? Oh, who would steal the great conch shell? The Barker Gill to himself all the customers he wants. Maybe the great conch shell he stole. Hmm. If we're going to... Well, we go this way. Interesting airplane. There's a sea urchin back there, but whatever. I 
don't see anything in here by the way of like notes, so out we go. Look, Freddy, it's a snowboopy pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. There's free. Bonga, bonga, bonga. Hey, get out of the bullies club. Uncle Blenny is depending on us to... There's our, like, third suspect, I guess. What do you two want? Excuse me, but I was wondering if we could borrow that flashlight to find the golden pipes. If it's in the clubhouse, it must be the clubhouse flashlight. And maybe you didn't notice, but this is the Bullies Club, and I just happen to be... The President! <laughs> well, looks like we are our first item we're going to see Fetch. Getting that flashlight would really help us. All oh, the more reason I shouldn't give it to ya. Gosh! How come you're being so mean? I already told you I'm president of the Bullies Club. I gotta set a bad example. Alright, so... We got ourselves the bully. We got ourselves the tourist guy, who basically, like, you know... Might need a better, like, you know, thing. The tailor who basically needs a blue fetter. Who's this guy? Get right up, gills and buoys for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Uncle Blenny is depending on us. There we got ourselves facing this guy now. Looks like I basically like, you know, I have two more guys facing visit, but that's about it. What's in here? Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Innocence has nothing to dread. Words of wisdom indeed. Oh, Pajama Sam reference. Spy Fox reference. I think there's a ant of some sort in one of the games. There's Spy Fox again. What's this? They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Alright, well that's basically something you can basically play with on your own, I guess. You can record stuff you want. We can record nine songs. There are nine drum rhythms we can play. So that's what that's all about. We can change the kind of sound the organ makes.
pretty intrinsic, this, like, you know, little, like, music box. Freddy, I'm so scared of the dark, I can't even think. Well, if we keep our wits about us, we'll figure out a way to brighten this place up. I guess we need a flashlight for this area. Alright, well. Things always work out for the best. Wow, that's really deep. Not really. You say you want world peace. You say you want thin thighs and bulging pectoral fins. Well, you won't get that here, but for only four purple sea urchins, what you will get is a chance to prove your skill and have a thrill and win a phantasmagorical funhouse mirror just like this one. Only one mirror per customer void where prohibited by law. See me, Gil Barker, for details. So, the four sea urchins basically to do this part. Oh, here's the fifth guy. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. That might be useful for the waterfall. Say, are you two going to the Founders Day Festival? We sure hope things will work out that way. Well, you should, you know. It's going to be ever so much fun. Really, it is. <laughs> All right, off we go. I sure wouldn't want to get my tail caught in that clam's sharp scissor-like jaws. Gee, that fish looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. Look, Freddy, it's a purple sea urchin. Got it. There's the fourth one of those. Down deep into the murky sea. Well, that's where you run into me. I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue. I'll make you feel so cool. Oh, oh. I'm more of like just a narrow distraction, but whatever. Down deep into the murky sea. Under the water is the place for me. Under the water in the deep blue sea. Swimming round with my fishy friend. It's where the fun, it never ends. Let's go swimming in the ocean. I love to feel that fini motion. Under the water is the place for me. Vines are too thick for us to get past. Ah. What? That tastes horrible. If we can find someone who likes to eat this type of kelp, then we can get through this doorway. All right. Well, it looks like the deer have to basically free this guy. It's always something to do a little bit later. There must be a way to get past those thick kelp vines. Those kelp vines are too thick to squeeze past. Interesting how the air obviously changes depending on like how your orientation is basically with them, so that's a thing. Here's a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. 
I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you two, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. Is this Tetris? I'm not sure, but I think this might be Tetris. I have to get four of them apparently in a row. Well, this is a very easy game so far, but it's also like, you know, requiring timing, so you have to like know when basically to like, you know, throw it up, so that might be a little hard for a little kid. Was those ones? I wonder if it's gonna be like more like, you know, pure space to make use of. We finished the level! In appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous Floating Fun is proud to present you with this a fantabulous Funhouse Mirror Replica. There's no time for that now, Luther. Thanks, Gil. Alright, well. We got this here. We'll go this way, I think. Let's try a shovel on the trunk on the tr no. The trunk. Hey Luther, help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. Come on, 
Luther, help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Ugh. If we can just keep the log moving, we'll be home free. Ugh. Can't stop pushing, must keep moving forward. I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. Alright, there we go. Look at that, he's got something for us. Luther, I think we need to find something else for that blue-tailed joey bird to cuddle with if we want to get that golden pipe. There's our first golden pipe. Look, it's a feather from a blue-tailed joey bird. It's beautiful, Freddy. <laughs> Good job, Luther. Well, let's go this way. Hi, folks, and welcome to the world-famous Luau Show where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. I think that's basically the third one. Or Luther, sixth one. your Uncle Plenty has talked about you so much, I feel I already know you. My Uncle Plenty has told me a lot about you, too. Uh... Who are you? Freddy, do you know how to become a performer in Rosie Pearl's world-famous luau show? No, Rosie. How? Well, you fill out an application and send it into the home office. Then you wait for a long time and hope that one day we'll call you. That sounds like a long process. But it's a good one. Well, that's very realistic. I'm delighted that you could come to my world-famous luau show. We're glad we could come too, Rosie. These are different acts, I guess. So again, this is like an air destruction area, I guess. So far, we've found like a purpose for this plug here, but whatever. It's a drain plug. This funhouse mirror isn't like a regular mirror. Oh, let's go this way. Up there goes to the monkey, I think. We still don't need anything from her. I won't let the mirrors be useful on the bully. If you go that way. President of the Bullies Club. I 
command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. Reinforcements! Big, stupid looking, ugly ones! Ah! Ah! Can we borrow that flashlight now? Sure! In fact, you can keep that flashlight as long as you want. Alright, well, let's solve that one. So I got the flashlight, I got the fetter. I bet the egg basically goes to the bird by way so like you know be cuddled. Pierre, we found a beautiful blue tailed Joey bird feather. Thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. You can keep that roly poly egg. Voila! It's a magnifique. Did you see anything unusual yesterday? I was sewing all day. However, there was a little lobster who was very near the great conch shell. Merci, merci. Thank you for your help with mon chapeau creation. The profit will be something to be desired. So does that mean we get 15% of all international and domestic sales? Hmm. No. Well, let's go use the flashlight. Freddy, I really don't like the dark. It's okay, Luther. We have a way to make it bright. This flashlight will add some light, Luther, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Who, me? I wasn't afraid. All right, so this is basically like, you know, similar to like, you know, Papa enters the race where you have a flashlight to the ground. Those fish. <laughs> Freddy, there's a golden pipe in here. Way to go, Luther. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Zoggy to pick up the scent. We got ourselves our first pipe here. Let's leave the flashlight here, Luther. That way, when we come back, we'll be able to see. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. I just realized that he's basically um got pop up poster in his like little cell there. Did you see it? So you got our first pipe there.
You know, I think I'm missing something, because basically we need something for the clamshell, so we basically can bite the leech for like the uh, dogfish so they're trying to get help. Old Soggy needs three items so he can sniff out the thief. I'm afraid that just won't do it. Well, let's go help the bird. Should make that blue tailed Joey Bird happier than that golden pipe ever was. Golden cat, Slooper? No, Freddy! Golden pipe! All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the thief. Alright, so. How do I get the other pipe? Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find the conch shell so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. <laughs> we'll see back there, I guess. Where were you when the great conch shell was stolen? I was right here, honey doll, rehearsing with my world-famous luau show performers. <laughs> Uncle Blenny is depending on us to find another golden pipe so old Soggy can pick up the scent of the thief. This is a statue of the town founder. It holds the great conch shell and the three golden pipes. I wonder if I like missing an area because like, you know, I've never seen this guy yet. That's the great conch that's needed to start the Founders Day Festival. I wonder if Claw is the thief. Well, off we go for now, I think. And where to go now? I get the feeling we're not getting any help from the monkey, so... Let's push on. took the great conch shell? I didn't see who took it, but my bet is on that guy Pierre. He's kinda shady. Hmm, hmm? <laughs> yeah, well... I didn't find a thing in here the first time. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm anything here a second time. Why did you steal the great conch shell? 
It was me, no, not why I come here. The festival of founders was. Hmm. Hmm. Don't think I'm anything with this guy. Our founder is shown holding his most precious gift to our community, the great conch containing the three golden pipes. Alright, so that's the founder right there, apparently. Our founder is one of the most beloved figures in our town's history. Without him, our town would not even exist. Hmm, is there anything we get from this guy? Hey, Pelican Sam, what do you call someone who works in a chain store and draws pictures real fast? Do I give up? A quick chains artist. It's a drain plug. I still don't know what the drain plug's basically for. It's a drain plug. Yes, we're back to like, you know, click and find out. It's a drain plug. Yeah, pop up's right there, by the way. Two golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're both doing such a good job helping me. Okay, old Soggy, what do we do when we find the bad guy? <laughs> That's my plan, too. Hello, sir. <laughs> What am I missing as a thing now? It's a drain plug. It's a drain plug. Say, are you two going to the Founders Day Festival? We sure hope things will work out that way. Well, you should, you know. It's going to be ever so much fun. Really it is. It's a drain plug. Yikes, that clam sure looks sharp. I hope that fish only eats kelp. Out of free to fish. That's where we're at right now. It's a drain plug. Under the water. I don't care about that. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor Unless you wanna mess with me Don't go swimming too close to my door Down in the deep blue sea I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse Than his bark will ever be Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor Unless you wanna mess with me How do I get that guy basically to do like, you know, the bite on this like, you know, piece of rope and then get this guy over here? That's the question. I know what we have to basically do, I just don't know how to basically do it. That's where we're basically at right now. It's a drain plug. It's a drain plug.
Go throw a fire fan there. Now, I'm a little bummer. You can usually find guys basically help you out if, like, you know, you're stuck on these like, games, but, you know. I'm gonna try to avoid that where possible. This pretty fish on a t shirt, by the way. It's a drain plug. It's a drain plug. It's a. It's a. It's a drain. Yep, where it's like, you know. It's a drain. I never used the drain plug. It's a drain plug. I we're gonna see her from here at least. Fish come in so many beautiful colors. That's one of the things that makes each of us so special. It's a drain plug. Oh, worth a try. It's a drain. It's a drain plug. All right, well. We're just gonna save the game here. So, I will not buy it. Yes, you can sometimes find, like, you know, solutions if you're basically stuck on stuff. So, Freddy, Fish, walk through. And let's go with Clam. And yeah, I looked on like Steam, basically, have all these guys basically written up and stuff like that. So, let's go with, um, Clam. To pass the storyline. Each of you can be in a different place, so apparently got the hard one. So, can be in the Clam or Cave. There are total of eight individual paths. The number of possible games is 2 times 3 times 3 is 18, so basically a lot of different paths. Sometimes a gold pipe is trapped inside the organ, apparently. Might be there, but I don't think it is. Here's the crossroads. So, at one of the crossroads, there's a cage with a golden pipe inside. However, the handle falls off whenever you try to use it. Go to the Indian's area. She has a nut on her tooth. We'll need to arrange to get off of her. Go past the teens to terrific uh, tumble tubes. The entrance to the area is blocked by the uh, fishing caves. Tap the fish, then tap the clam. The entrance is clear. Oh, okay, so that's basically the idea here. You have to, like, you know, interact with both the, the clam and, like, the, um, the fish at the same time. I know that sometimes an issue about with this game, like, you know, it's, a, it's like a puzzle adventure game, sometimes it does like, you know, something like, you know, weird that you like, I don't expect it at all. There we go. That's all I had to do. Look, Luther, the doorway's clear. Swell. Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes. I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. Luther, look! It's one of the golden pipes we need. Yeah, but how are we going to get it out? We'll just need to find something small enough to fit in that tube. I.e. Luther. I 
big mess makes you go through the tubes twice. Alright, so this looks to be some sort of puzzle. Freddy, I want to grow up to be just like you. I think you're fine just the way you are. How does this work? I figured once we, like, you know, we got in here, I'd be able to figure it out, but whatever. Oh, here's the levers. Just, just open that tube. Bonsai! There we go. It's one of the golden pipes. Good job, Luther. We did it, Freddy! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if Old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Alright, well... Here you go, boy! <laughs> Come on, Luther! We've got a bad guy to catch! you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Alright, this looks to be the final sequence here. I got five key for him. There's the key right there. Hey, I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. Right? Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. I wonder why there's a hole in the statue's hand. That's the key I basically need. Gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, this red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Oh, off we go. gonna be like a little bit of a maze, I guess. Very simple one for kids. There's a blue gem. Oh, it's beautiful blue. Phew, this blue crystal could really come in handy. 
If only I could break it loose. Also, the bath dog is gone, by the way, so... That's a thing that happens when you get to this area here, I guess. What's this way? It might come in handy. Alright, here's a chisel. That probably helps me get up, up to gems. There's the green one. Oh, green like Luther! I could break off this green crystal. It might come in handy. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. That might come in very handy. The crystal grew back. Oh, I know what's gonna happen here. I need the red crystal, by the way. Basically, to match the colors with, like, you know, the one that's basically, like, you know, got the thing there. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a lot of light. Come in very handy indeed. And no one comes back. There's the blue one. Oh, I guess there's green I basically need, but whatever. Have an idea. Oh. Basically, the idea is like, you know, we're not, we're not like disrupting the light now. Yippee! I got it! Now I can basically free Luffer. Dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. I hear came two for this. Disappointed my old silver head granny will be if not snapshot I bring back from festival. Pshaw! If Pierre was in charge, this would never have happened. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Please kill me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found a visitor's map, which means the thief is... A visitor's map? So who's visiting? Based on what we found in the bag, I think the thief is... Forced Fetters! You're the thief! That map of a visitor belong could to anybody! You have on me nothing! I... Oh no? 
<laughs> okay, maybe something on me you do have. Confess, I must. I thought would not it make a great souvenir. Also make a great hearing aid for my old silver-haired granny. I no idea had it was so valuable. It doesn't matter whether the conch is valuable or not. You should never take things that don't belong to you. And I'm sure your old silver-haired granny would agree with me. Forgive, please, my action. Horst is most sorry. I return you to the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand exalted keeper of the conch. Thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> and old Zoggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. Because he stole the great conch for his granny, Horst was convicted on a 525 granny larceny. As punishment, Horst was sentenced to write a new foreign language phrase book that wasn't nearly as silly as the one he had on this trip. Case closed. Well, there we go. Freddy Fish Free to Case of Stolen Conch Shell. So I have to say, this one like really, really drives home like yeah, what Freddy Fish is basically all about. You basically have like, you know, um, cases that you have to basically sort of solve. And it's basically always going to be like some sort of antagonist basically in the story. Now I will say that like compared to like, you know, Freddy 1 and 2, this was a lot more harder because like, you know, you basically had to like, you know, a uh, segment where you need to like, you know, figure out how to get the fish basically eat the kelp. And you have the clam. And they're both basically there, but I like, figure like you need like another item basically at the clam to like, you know, eat the rope or something. But whatever. Sometimes like these puzzle games, they aren't like, you know, as direct as they like, you know, should be, so they need, they need like a hit there, basically to help you out, but whatever. Other than that, just like, you know, I want food this out by the way. This is actually probably one of the better like you know Freddy Fish games I've actually played so far, so while not perfect, I really enjoyed this one. And, and in the end, you basically have that like, you know, a little bit of like morality basically like to sort of deal with, like, you know, it's wrong basically to steal stuff, even if like, you know, is the only thing that's valuable and stuff. I suppose I should hit some bubbles, so... Boop. Boop. Do you understand reference? Firefox reference. Fatty Bear reference. Pop Pop reference. You know, actually, I have to wonder, by the way, if maybe, like, you know, this came after, like, you know, the, the first, like, Spy Fox game. Spy Fox was basically one of the later, like, you know, edutainment titles, so... They probably made it, like, you know, a little bit, like, after. A little bit after, like, you know, their kids had started to grow up, basically, the, like, developers of this game. But whatever. Do you want to stop playing? See you real soon! Alright, so, that's basically the third game here. I hope you guys basically enjoyed it, and take care.